Hi, good evening. Can you hear me? Um, oops, I changed your, your name. Let me correct that. I'm sorry. Hi, Judith. Wait, 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 wait. I am the teacher now. I'm sorry, I changed <laughs> your name. <laughs> How are you doing, Judith? What is your last name? Uh, Tios. T E O S. Yes. Tios. I have a student whose last Hello? name is Tios. Uh huh. Which name? Let me see. His name is um, Jonathan. Jonathan mm -hmm. Tios. Could be. Uh, is a parents of my husband because Maybe. the Tios are uh, all of them are from uh, parents. He's a he's a young student. Um, he's about um, 24, 25 years old. Mm -hmm. and he says that he's coming from um, a popa. Yes, could be. Could, could be. be. Huh? Yes, yes. And, uh, my uh, mother-in-law uh -huh. told me that the. Most of the tios in El Salvador mm -hmm. are parents. That's interesting, huh? Yes. I never the, heard that last name, to be honest. The, the origin is uh, Egyptian. No kidding. Yeah, yes. it sounds like that. Yes, it's, it's extremely rare. It's extremely rare. But they mean... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> the meaning is uh, wonderful for me. Because it has a meaning. Dios is God. So the meaning is God. Yes. Wow. Theology, theology, the root uh -huh. is Dios. Wow! How interesting. Yes. So there is I a story. A <laughs> I have a big gift with my, my name, completely. Really? And the meaning, yes. And the meaning is sweet. Mm -hmm. Judith is a son of God, Alabanza. Son of God. Yes. And completely name is sweet, son of God of Tios. No kidding. He's really good. <laughs> who, who, who named you like that? Your dad? Your mom? My man. Your mom was very creative yes. woman, huh? He's a very creative uh, woman. The real uh, situation that she chose this name is because I burned before the day of the San Judas. You were born before the, that holiday, yes, huh? Yes, 20, 27 of October. And the proper uh, day of the San Judas is the, the next day, 28. But when I search about my name, I, um, I feel really grateful for that. Yeah, I'm glad to hear. So that means that you are blessed. Yes. What is the correct form to say son of God? Son of God. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alabanza is that? Son. Uh -huh. A song. Uh, A song of God. Mm -hmm. uh, or Christmas song. When referred to the Jesus holiday. Christ. Uh -huh. When you refer Jesus, to Jesus. Jesus Christ is 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 a Christian son. Yes. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, Lord yes. Jesus. Yes, I have a a lot of experience about him. No kidding. You read yes. the Bible. Yes. Do you, yes. Do you congregate at a church? Yes. 
You do? And the uh, La Ceiba de Guadalupe. Okay, so you're Catholic. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's nice. Yes, but he is really um, lovely with me. With everyone, I believe, and and you are mm -hmm. you're a witness too. I am happy to hear that that you are connected uh, with yes. the Lord. All right, I, I noticed that you know you project a very uh, positive energy, and um, that that speaks that speaks about you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So I guess I'm going to have a personalized class with you because I don't see nobody else connected. But yes, there are only two. You and I. Just you? Just one student. <laughs> I suppose. It's a private class. <laughs> it's too early. <laughs> oh, here they come. Here they come. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. That's the traffic, good. the traffic is terrible. And, and, I ha and I have many uh, co-workers, many colleagues that are reporting that, that it's raining very hard right now in different zones. Do you live in Mexicano, yes? I do. Okay, uh, I heard that it is raining now. Really? Over, over, over In Mexicanos it's raining? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, where I am, it's not raining yet, but I believe that mm -hmm. it's coming. Mm -hmm. Is it raining where you are? No, no. It's not? Here, no. no. It's hot? A little bit. Okay, okay. It's great to practice my English with you, Miss Dios. Thank you. I, I feel well because my principal object objective mm -hmm. is to feel really comfortable talking oh I, yeah i told you in the first class because i i feel a, a little shy when i speak english i can read i can write but but when i speak is it's a little hard <laughs> you're doing it very well and i'm very happy to, i'm very happy to have you in my class Thank okay you. let me move on i want to i want to say hello to oscar cruz good uh -huh. evening oscar how are you gentlemen <laughs> good evening teacher good evening good evening um, oscar how are you sir uh, i'm fine uh, i have uh, But um, no rain, no uh, here. I, I'm sorry, I, I can't hear you well, Oscar, but if if you have audio problems, you can chat your answer, okay? Uh, yeah, uh, I have, I hope, I hope, I hope, uh, what, you, what, what do you rain? Here. It's raining over there, huh? Yes. It's beginning. Where, where are you? Where are you? Uh, in Ilopango. I am in Ilopango City. In Repeat. City. I am in Ilopango City. In Ilopango. I am in Ilopango. In City. There you go. There you go. That's nice. So it's raining hard. Mm. But you need to wear. You need to wear a jacket. You need to wear a sweater. No, 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 no. I don't have. I don't have. <laughs> okay, no problem. Okay, let me welcome the rest of the students. Um, a little shot. A little bit, yes. <laughs> no, a little shot. A little shot. <laughs> That's funny. Let me see. This I could think. Oh, okay, okay. Um, let's. What about the other students? Are you able to turn on your camera so we can have a chat? Okay. Me, now Mr. it is starting to rain here. Yes. Excuse me. What happened yesterday? Because. All, all of us waiting for you. <laughs> I never came back, huh? 
Uh-huh. I'm sorry. I'm going to pay you those minutes today. I'm going to give you five extra minutes. No, but... I lost my internet connection. My internet went down. My computer restarted itself. Yeah. And when that happens, it takes forever to come back. So I said, no, I better say good night because it's not coming uh -huh. back. And it was, it was like five or six minutes left. So I, I, will, I was not going to make it. So I... I sent you an apology on the chat, but no, today, today I'm don't paying worry. you back those minutes. No problem, because no, otherwise no, no, no. I will have problems with my boss. <laughs> <laughs> I don't request you. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to. I have to. It's part no, of my duty. No, no worries. <laughs> okay. What about Ingrid Arias? How you doing, Miss Ingrid? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Hello. I have, mm -hmm. I have problems with my computer and no I'm kidding. stressful. Yes. Uh, I'm Man, stressful. <laughs> so um, we're not going to appreciate uh, your, your appearance. <laughs> <laughs> only your voice oh, only your voice yes. okay try to yes. try to Sorry. participate uh speaking or chatting okay yes i sure i try try I when you do. want to give an opinion raise your virtual hand and we will consider you okay but we need to practice speak as much okay. as possible yes teacher. thank you you betcha what about Andrea <laughs> Michelle Garcia? How you doing, lady? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Um, my connection is awful right now. And, uh, así que si no contesto, Mira, me disculpará. Tell me about Porque it. Porque este, escucho muy, muy cortado. Breaking up. Y quería mencionar que en el grupo de WhatsApp están, con, están diciendo a los compañeros que no pueden entrar, Kitchen. En serio. Y de hecho, este, a mí también me pidió registro este, la plataforma. Me decía que no, 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 no estaba registrada este, mi cuenta. Y tuve que entrar de nuevo en mi correo y así pude lograr entrar a la, a la reunión. Me imagino que a ellos también les pasó. Sí, entonces hay que entrar al correo y, 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 y darle de ahí. Darle clic. Sí, aquí dice, por este medio les comento que Zoom se ha actualizado. Por tanto, la manera de entrar a las clases por medio del link también dice, al momento de registrarse. Uh, permítanme. Al momento de registrarse e ingresar a la clase, no los redirecciona a Zoom, sino que deben ir a su correo, dice. Uh -huh. Les voy a copiar esto y se los voy a mandar. Which is the team of WhatsApp? Intermediate one. I don't have it. It's I on your email, Miss Tios. Uh, you need to go back to your email, to the first email you got, where, where mm -hmm. it has all the specification of this course. You have to have a link over there for the WhatsApp. You just click on it. Okay, thank you. You never told me about it. <laughs> I, I think that... You rest me. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Explique que no podemos nosotros. Would you like to enter on the class in this moment? Pide que se registre. Quien ha podido. Lo siento, no puede entrar. Would you would, would la palabra que? Regina. Ah, would. Sí, solo se pronuncia con D. Would. Eh, está raro que alguien me puede comunicar con soporte. Ok, ya les puse aquí. Ok, Jennifer aún no puede ingresar. You can, 
You can share the link in the the thing of WhatsApp. What link? The link to uh, uh, get in the, the WhatsApp group classes. Yes. I mean, what what the, the link, link for the class? It, yes, you have a link in the mail. Copy and share in the group of thing. Ah, you're asking me to copy and paste the, the link for you mm -hmm. to access the WhatsApp chat. For the other chair, uh, uh, <laughs> classmates. Students. All, all the all the students are in the, the WhatsApp classmates. chat. Ingrid, are you in the WhatsApp? But but they they can get in the the classes. The, the no, video. Be Yes, because 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 Zoom has has updated. Um, yeah, you didn't have any problems to access, huh? At the chat, yes. No, at the but, at the at the class at the no, class. No, no, no. Oh. I I search the the first email and choose the link and get in easy. Okay. Aún así no me deja, dice. Mm -hmm. Siguen teniendo problemas los chicos. Cher. Dígame. Es mejor que, que entren al correo, así como les dijo, tal vez si les mando una captura de cómo se ve en el correo, porque solo así pude entrar. Yo no podía entrar con el link. Ahorita. Yo tampoco, yo tuve incluso que cambiar la contraseña. Tuvo que cambiar la contraseña. Sí, porque no me dejaba. We're gonna give them five more minutes, okay, guys? We're gonna give them five more minutes because many people are having problems right now. Uh, there are two things going on. Zoom has updated, and number two, it's raining cats and dogs. <laughs> <laughs> so, in other words, it's raining very hard. Hey, you turn on your camera. It's working. Ingrid is working, huh? Oh, Al nice. Fin. Nice. Sí, si me costó t-shirt. Mándemelo, dice. Mándeme el qué, pero... Hello, good night. Good evening. Good evening. What's up, Marlon? Everything okay? Yeah, that's okay. What are you doing? Um, in my house, I'm reset. Is it raining over there? Yeah, very raining. Very hard. Very hard, for sorry. Here, here is raining cats and dogs. Sorry? Over here, it's raining cats and dogs. Yeah, it's really? <laughs> yeah. That's how fun. crazy it's raining. Vaya, ahí está Florcita, ya nos está ayudando, dice. Usen el ID para entrar, es más rápido. Creo que no estábamos preparados para este fenómeno, guys. Again, our apologies. Uh, do we have any chats? It says we have chats here. Ah, pero ustedes ya están adentro. You're already in. Hay que registrarse de nuevo. Teacher. Y le envía al correo y le envía al correo y ahí entrar a Zoom. Ah, ajá. Cuando te registras de nuevo, te manda la, la info a tu correo, ¿verdad? Y ahí te, ya con esa info ingresas otra vez a Zoom.
guys, you have to register again. You have to register again. You need to change your password and everything. And once you do that, you will get a confirmation email to your email and you will open it up. And with that information, you go back to Zoom, log in and access again. I'm so yeah. sorry for the inconvenience. Yes, go ahead. Uh, a mí me funciona este, abriendo la aplicación de Zoom. Uh, uh, después me unirse a reunión, el ID y después la contraseña. No hay ningún problema para entrar. Dictate, dictate, dictate that information for me, please. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Uh, uh, Good evening. Welcome, number Zoom. one. Abrir Zoom primero. Open Zoom. Luego unirse a una reunión. Join a meeting. Eh, agregar la ID. One moment, one moment. Add your, your ID. Uh -huh. Y finalmente la contraseña. Enter your password. Your password. Man, we have collapsed. Everybody's having problems. That's yeah, so teacher. sad. You too? I tried the, 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 the Zoom with my cell phone because in my computer, I know I'm not permitted. No, I don't know. It's not working on your, on your computer. It's not working. No, because I uh, understand that I mean, uh, why? You don't understand why. The problem is that Zoom has an update. That's the okay. problem. It's a new update from Zoom. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. So I, I think uh, we were not prepared for that situation. So uh, I think technical support is going to give you some information tomorrow on the chat. So we can avoid this yeah. problem tomorrow, OK? Yes, uh, I watching in the chat. I know intro and the, the, the Zoom. Yeah, many people have problems. Okay, guys, we have to start the class. Uh, let's get ready. Let's get ready to use our <laughs> English. I'm, yes. cell phone. <laughs> I'm sorry? Estoy conectada en mi teléfono. I, you, in mi... I know the, 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 the it's, it's different very, on very your very cell phone, huh? Yeah. I'm sorry, miss. It's only today, okay? It's only today. Tomorrow you will access from your computer, I promise. Okay, teacher. Okay, they posted, uh, Michelle Barrientos posted uh, a link, okay. All right, anyways, let's get started with our class. Uh, our language, or, or actually our objective today is build your English language skills with this lesson on adjectives and nouns. By the end of this class, you will be, you will learn how to express your opinions about houses and apartments. Additionally, uh, you will be able to describe your house or apartment in English and use um, evaluating phrases such as apartments are too small for pets or houses are too expensive or houses cost too much yes, money. Yes, <laughs> yeah. So we're going to talk about it right now. Let me go next. Okie doke. So there we have a video about evaluating with adjectives and nouns. This is the objective. Evaluations. You're going yes. to give your opinion. Very, very important opinion about a house. Uh, you're going to use adjectives and you're going to use nouns, okay? Let's watch this video now. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you will be able to give your opinion about houses and apartments. Additionally, you'll be able to evaluate your own house and apartment. For example, you'll be able to make the following statements. Apartments are too small for pets. 
but houses are too expensive. Houses cost too much money. Before I talk about the grammar involved in this particular class, what I would like to do now is I would like to play an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. We will listen to a few people talk about their opinions on houses and apartments. Your task is to listen carefully and answer a couple of questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. Apartments are too small for pets. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Let's try to repeat that. Let's try to repeat that, okay? Is use. We will listen to a few people talk about their opinions on houses and apartments. Your task is to listen carefully and answer a couple of questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. Apartments are too small for pets. Repeat. Apartments are too small, Apartment is too small for pets. Apartments are too small for pets. Apartments are too small for pets. Apartments are too small for pets. Great. Listen carefully. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Repeat. Apartments, Apartments are big enough for families. Apartments are big enough for families. Apartments are big enough for families. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments don't have enough parking. Apartments have just as many expenses as houses. Apartments have just as many expenses as houses. Apartments have just as many expenses as houses. Apartments just have as many expenses as houses. The farmer. Apartments just have as uh, many expenses. No, uh, Apartments don't have as many rooms as houses. Apartments have very room the houses. Apartments don't have, don't have as the, many uh, rooms uh, as houses. Many rooms have houses. Houses aren't as safe as apartments. Houses aren't safe as apartments. Houses add many safe department. Houses aren't safe an apartment. Houses aren't safe than apartment. House. Aren't no aren't. Listen. Houses aren't as safe as apartments. Houses aren't as safe as apartments. Houses aren't safe as 
houses aren't safe as, a, as an apartment. As apartments, okay. Next, next, next. Listen, listen, make silence, make silence. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Houses cost too much money. 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 Correct. Houses don't have enough closet space. Houses don't have enough closet space. Houses don't have enough closet space. Houses don't have a closet space. Don't have enough. Houses don't have enough closet space. Don't have enough. Houses don't have as much privacy as apartments. Houses don't have much privacy than apartments. As apartments. As apartments. Too much money. Okay, next, next, next. Houses don't have enough closet space. Oh, then next. Houses next, next. don't have as much privacy as apartments. Houses don't have enough privacy as apartments. Houses don't have enough privacy as apartments. And it's true, huh? It's true. Houses don't have enough privacy as apartments. As apartments. Okay, next, next, next. Let me present some structure now. The first thing that I would like to do is to show you how to make evaluations using adjectives. And particularly, we're going to learn how to use the words enough and to. After that, we're going to make evaluations, but this time we're going to use nouns. And at the same time, we're also going to use the words enough and also to. First of all, what are adjectives? Well, adjectives are those words that describe nouns. So they describe people, places, or things. Since we're talking about evaluating houses and apartments, what we want to do is we want to think about some of those adjectives that we might use to evaluate a house or an apartment. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write a lot of those words here. And then what I would like for you to do is to uh, memorize this and uh, maybe study them if you're not familiar with them. So, for example, we have the adjectives comfortable, convenient, dangerous, dark, bright, expensive, huge, small, inconvenient, modern, noisy, private, quiet, safe, small, spacious. And I'm pretty sure you can think of many more. Let me present some structure at this time on how to make sense of this evaluation that you see there towards the left. Apartments aren't big enough for families. So in order for us to make that particular evaluation, we can think of the following structure. So let me go ahead and write that now. Following this structure, we can see that we're going to have a subject. So in this case, we have apartments. This is followed by the verb to be. In this case, it happens to be in its negative form. Okay. And then, and then this is going to be followed by the adjective. So in this case, the adjective is big. Then this is going to be followed by enough. 
and then um, we're going to have some sort of complement here. So in this case, it happens to be families, right? So if we look at the pattern, we have a subject. I'm going to go ahead and follow the colors so that we can see what's happening there. That's in black. There we go. So we can see that the subject is apartments. Then this is followed by the verb to be. In this case, it happens to be the verb to be in its negative form. After that, we're going to have some sort of adjective. And then it's going to follow the word enough. And then we're going to include um, some sort of complement, if you will. So if we think about other evaluations that we can say about apartments, either apartments or homes, then we can say the following. I'm going to go ahead and copy this because the next evaluation is going to be quite similar. So we can say the following. Apartments aren't, and so I'm going to change the adjective here. So I'm going to say aren't spacious enough for families. Okay. And let's do one more. Uh, we can also say that apartments aren't, and I'm going to change the adjective now. I'm going to say apartments aren't comfortable enough for families. The next thing that I would like to do is to make sense of that second evaluation that you see there at the bottom. Now, using the word to, the verb to be, in this case, have families. Very well. So this is the first structure in which we are using the verb to be, like in the first examples. Apartments aren't big enough. We're using enough enough, which means suficiente, right? Uh, apartments aren't big enough for families. Okay, it's my opinion, it's my way of evaluating. Now, other way, using two, which is too much, apartments are too small for pets. And I agree with that. I definitely agree with that. Some other opinions, some other evaluations, I don't agree with them, uh, but uh, it's important to respect them as long as you are following these structures. Okay? Can you give an opinion about this using this structure? What do you think about apartments and houses? Um, we can use different adjectives. Remember, let me see. What we want to do is we want to here we can use these adjectives uh, repeat comfortable 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 repeat comfortable 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 yeah in some other places they say comfortable repeat comfortable 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 Convenient. 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 Dangerous. 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 Dark. 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 Bright. 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 Expensive. 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 Do you know the, the antonym? For expensive? Cheap. Cheap. That's correct. Thank you. Huge. Repeat. Huge. 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 Can you give me a, can you give me a synonym for huge? Lovely. Nope. Can you give me a synonym for huge? Big. Yes. Thank you. Big. Mm -hmm. Big, okay. Thank you. Good job, sir. Repeat. Small. 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 Mm. Repeat. Small. 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 Inconvenient. 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 Modern. 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 Noisy. 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 Private. 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 Quiet. Quiet. Safe. Safe. Small again. Small. Okay. And spacious. Okay. Spacious. Now, 
what is your opinion about apartments versus houses? Um, using enough or using two? Hmm. What do you say? Good. How do you say? How do you say huge? Huge. Huge? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mentioned that huge, it's, it's synonym is big. Do you understand big? Do you understand big, B-I-G? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Big, yes. Big. Yes. big. Yeah, like a big mountain, yeah. like a big volcano, yeah? So huge is a synonym. They are synonyms. Capitch? No comprende, amigo? No? <laughs> Significa Teacher, grande. But, mm -hmm. Tell me, tell me. But huge, I thought that was bigger than bigger. Bigger than enorme. bigger? <laughs> I it's thought it was enormous. Well, that's enormous. Enormous. Oh. Yeah, but... But huge is a synonym. They are synonyms of big. Okay, so what's your opinion? Okay. What's your opinion about apartments versus houses? Houses are houses are too safe than apartment. Okay, houses are too safe. What happens is that safe is a positive adjective, Eliseo. So two is when two is when you're saying something a bit negative, like too small, like too expensive, like too noisy. You know what I mean? And and, and enough is all the way around. Yeah. Okay. So what could you say? In both way, the enough and to uses for negative uh, adjective. Yes, because because enough it means sometimes it can mean like like insufficient, right? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, depends if, if you're saying, for example, in negative apartments aren't big enough. You can say it. In affirmative, apartments are big enough. Yeah, apartments mm -hmm. are big enough for family. That could be your opinion. So it's possible. It's okay. possible. Can but I use in both ways? Okay. Yes, but but two, two, is like is like something negative. Too small, too mm -hmm. expensive. To emphasize the adjective. To emphasize and modify the adjective a little bit. What is okay. your opinion personally about? houses versus apartments trying to use this structure i think the houses are uh, too comfortable uh, as apartments in that case you will say i think houses are as comfortable you're using this one as an as uh -huh. okay so okay. for yes. you, in your House. opinion, houses are as uh, convenient as apartments. Or comfortable. Oh, uh, or comfortable. As comfortable. Okay. Mm -hmm. You think so? Yes, I think so. Okay. 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 Um, I think apartments are in El Salvador. I think apartments are too noisy. I think mm -hmm. because you have people living very next to you, you know, next door. And, you know, some neighbors are disrespectful. So I think that some apartments in El Salvador are too noisy. What's your opinion about apartments and houses, guys? What's your opinion? I have an opinion that house. It depends on the house. Okay, we have an opinion also. Okay, let's go with Iris. What's your opinion, Iris? What's your evaluation? Because in 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 my house is is big, and in the neighborhood is um 
I don't know, say, um, eran terrenos, I don't know, say. Land. What do you mean? Uh, in my house, the construction in my house is, um, Oh, you are building uh, your house right my now. My grandmother, yeah. Yeah, but the we're giving opinions. I want you to give me an opinion like um, my house, for example, my house is, 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 big. is big enough uh -huh, because yeah. we build it. Uh -huh. you, you build it your yeah. way. Yeah. So it's big enough. Okay. It's big enough. Yeah. Okay. Good for you. Good for you. And the other way around, apartments are too small or too noisy. What about privacy? What's your opinion? Oh, we have Michelle. Do you have a, an opinion, Michelle? An evaluation? Yes. I don't know if it's good or bad. Mm -hmm. But uh, apartments aren't comfortable for big families. Correct. Okay. Um, apartments aren't comfortable for big families. Okay. Comfortable. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, it could be apartments aren't comfortable enough. You can say comfortable enough. Yeah. Add me enough because we're trying to use enough or to. So, apartments aren't comfortable enough for families. That's true, especially yeah, for I big don't families. Know if I can use that word. Yeah, you. you can definitely. Okay. Who, ha who else has an opinion? Let's go with comparisons. Let's go with comparisons. Here is very easy because you can use this way as and as, and you just put the adjective in the middle. And here you need to be, you need to be sure about saying something oh. negative or positive. In this case, houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Mm, what are you saying is that apartments are more convenient than houses. That's your context. And here, houses are just as convenient as apartments. Here, the balance is the same. Here, the balance is the same. I'm saying houses are just as, as convenient as apartments is the same level. But the other one, this one, houses aren't, houses aren't as convenient as apartments. So apartments are more convenient than houses. This is what you're saying with this example. Can you try to use this example, please? Talking about El Salvador houses and El Salvador apartments. In my opinion, tell me, in my opinion, raise your hand, talk to me. Okay, Marlon, go ahead. In my opinion, uh, the apartments. Apartments. Are in Apartment, apartment, apartment aren't convenient as houses. Okay, you say, in your opinion, apartments aren't as convenient as houses. Why? Yeah. Why? Because uh, the apartments are cost more of house because, ¿cómo se dice alquiler eso? No, no me acuerdo. Rent. Rent. I think it changed the rents. Mm. Okay. Uh, the okay. In my opinion, in my opinion, um, apartments aren't as private yeah. as houses. That's my opinion. Okay. What do you think? Use use any adjective. These are all the adjectives you could use. Come on. What do you think? What do you, can you? What do you think about expensive? Huh? Apartments are you as safe as house? Okay. Nowadays, yes. Nowadays, yes. For everything the government is doing, I think yes. uh, Oscar said apartments are as safe as houses. As safe. So this is your formula. Apartments are apartments as safe. Aren't as oh, aren't safe, safe are apartments. Apartments. 
paper. Okay, I didn't quite get the last part. Who, who, somebody has an evaluation? Houses are just as spacious as apartment. In some cases, I agree. Yeah, in some cases, there are some apartments that are big, right? But expensive at the same time. You're right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. What about, what about dangerous? Dangerous. Compare dangerous houses and apartments. Okay, Judith, go ahead. Okay, in my opinion, apartments are too safe as as to safe as houses because the neighbor are together. Are close, huh? Mm -hmm. So you said this one, apartments are as safe as houses. Okay. Apartments, apartments are, are as safe as, as, houses. Safe as houses. Especially nowadays that the government is protecting us better, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. In what about... Another way, in uh -huh. another way, apartments are too convenient for single people. Apartments are too convenient for single people. Okay, okay, I agree with that. I agree with that, definitely, good job. Okay, let's go in this case with nouns. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Let's, let's look at the disadvantages. Houses cost too much money. Hmm. What do you think? This one, the first one is variable, right? Because some apartments, some apartments actually have enough parking spaces and, and some other apartments don't have enough parking spaces. What do you think? And it says houses cost too much money. It's a great teacher. You agree? Because a house is more expensive. Houses, because yeah, houses because cost it's more big, more too big. much. Oh, yeah, because it's more big, the, the apartment. Can you tell me a it's disadvantage the mountain, I don't of, say of houses? The mountain, mountain, mountain. Maintenance. Houses, yeah. Can you tell me a disadvantage of a house? For example, houses don't have what? Houses don't have what? House. Houses don't have. Uh -huh. Houses don't have. What? Enough. Enough? In an adjective. Oh. What? Entertainment. Entertainment. Okay. <laughs> That's that one wasn't here. Okay, good, good, good. So houses don't have enough entertainment. Okay. All right. Another somebody has an example. Of a disadvantage, can you tell a, a disadvantage of having a house or having an apartment? I think I think apartments have uh, apartment I don't have the jar teacher. It's true, apartments don't have enough um yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Jar space, jar yeah, space or, or garden space. space. Yes, yes, it makes a lot of sense. Most of the apartments, right? Most of the apartments don't have enough uh, yards. Yes, that's true. 
That's true. Makes sense. Makes sense. Apartments rent is too expensive. What do you think? Apartments rent cost too much, I think. Okay. Um, another disadvantage about apartments, apartments don't have enough, enough uh, rooms sometimes. Yes, apartments don't have enough bathrooms. Yeah. Sometimes there is only one bathroom for all the family. I know the disadvantage of houses, maybe houses don't have enough bedrooms. Okay. Good, let's go to comparisons. Comparisons with nouns. Apartments have just as many rooms as houses. Mm, I disagree with that one. This one means that both are in the same way. Both are, are in the same balance. Apartments have many rooms and uh, houses have many rooms. So that's what I'm saying with this example. Now, negative. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. Now, this is, you gotta be very careful because many is for countable nouns, right? And much is for non-countable nouns. So privacy is non-countable. So you say as much privacy as houses. And what are you saying? Apartments don't have as much. I'm saying that houses have more privacy, yeah? Let's see, spacious, private, noisy, modern. Give an example using a comparison. Can you try? Can you try, can you try, can you try? Apartments don't have as much spaces as homes. Okay, that's correct. Apartments don't have as much space as houses. That's uh, correct. Houses. Okay. That is correct. Mm -hmm. What about privacy? What about noise? Okay, you did go ahead. Okay, apartment have as much rules community as house. As houses. Houses. Nice, nice, nice. Let's move on. Let's move on. I'm going to share the rest of the video. Bright, expensive, heat. And then we're going to include um, some sort of compliment, if you will. So if we think about other evaluations that we can say about apartments, either apartments or homes, then we can say the following. I'm going to go ahead and copy this because the next evaluation is going to be quite similar. So we can say the following. Apartments aren't, and so I'm going to change the adjective here. So I'm going to say aren't spacious enough for families, okay? And let's do one more. Uh, we can also say that apartments aren't, and I'm going to change the adjective now. I'm going to say apartments aren't comfortable enough for families. The next thing that I would like to do is to make sense of that second evaluation that you see there at the bottom. Now using the word to. And so what I want you to notice is the following, that we're just going to have different ways of evaluating things. And so there isn't just one way to do it. There are many different ways. So in this case, we're going to use this expression. And I want you to notice what's going to change. So I want you to think about what is the opposite of big? Well, the opposite of big, we can we can think of that as being small, right? So in this case, I want you to notice what, what's going to change. So in this case, I'm going to say apartments are. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to include two small 
So the only thing that changed is that I'm no longer using the bird to be in its negative form, but now I'm using it in its positive form. And then I'm including two plus the adjective small, and I'm saying for families. So what I want you to notice is that these two sentences, these two evaluations are the same thing. The only thing is that I'm expressing them in different ways. The next thing that I would like to do now is to show you how to make evaluations. But now we're going to talk about making evaluations using nouns. And a couple of things will change. And so let me present the formula at this time. And I'm going to show you what kind of things will change. Well, first of all, uh, similar to making evaluations with adjectives, we're going to have a subject. So in this case, we're going to say apartments. Okay, That's going to follow a verb. In this case, it's no longer the verb to be. So that's the first thing that changes. We're no longer using the verb to be. So in this case, we're using any other kind of verb. In this case, it happens to be that that's on a negative. So we, we're going to say don't have. That's uh, The verb is on its negative form. And then this follows enough. So opposite from adjectives, where we would include the adjective first, when we make evaluations using nouns, we no longer use the adjective first. We're going to include enough, and then we're going to include the noun. So let me give an example here. Don't have enough. And then uh, whatever um, noun that we want to include. So in this case, don't have enough parking spaces. Okay. Uh, so the noun is parking spaces. And then you can think of a complement, if you will. So you can include something else there. So for example, uh, what could that be? Don't have enough parking spaces for people, right? That could be the complement. But in this case, the noun is parking spaces. And quickly, I want to talk about nouns. So what are nouns? What are some of the nouns that we can think about when we are um, you know, thinking about making evaluations of apartments and houses. Well, uh, we can think of things like parking spaces, as you can see there. We can think of things like closet space, right? We can think of things like privacy. And of course, we can think of things like money, if you will, right? So these kind of things are nouns that we can think of. So we can say the following. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments don't have enough closet space. Apartments don't have enough privacy. And the last example that I would like to make is how to use to. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, this I'm going to take that example there. Houses, this follows the verse, so that continues to be the same. We are no longer going to include the word enough. So in this case, we're going to use too much money, right? Houses cost too much money. So if we can think of this, I'm going to follow the pattern there. Houses cost. That follows the verb. And then in this case, I want you to notice what happened. So we include too much money. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to evaluate your house or apartment. It depends on where you live, right? And I want you to evaluate your house or apartment using adjectives, such as the ones that are here, and of course, following the formula that I presented to you earlier today. And I also want you to evaluate your house or apartment using nouns. So uh, once again, using the formula that I'm presenting to you today. And then, of course, you're going to follow this formula. So I want you to make as many examples as you possibly can. The idea is to practice as much as possible. Ready. So what we have to do or apartment is that you're going to evaluate your house. OK, you're going to evaluate your house and you're going to send, you're going to chat at least at least two examples at least two examples you're going to prepare in your home, okay? And you're going to chat on the WhatsApp group, 
tomorrow during the day you can chat two evaluations of your home okay using the formulas that you have seen in this class do you have any question do you understand everything's okay okay so how many examples How many examples? Two examples. Evaluating your house. Take your time to prepare them and you have all the day to send them to the chat tomorrow. All right, people? I would like to wish you a great rest of your night and enjoy this freshy weather that we're experiencing right now. So good night and I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Bye. 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 I expect your, your chats tomorrow. Two evaluations of your home. All right? All right. Get a jacket. Get a sweater. Good night. See ya. See ya.